Welcome back to more Harry Potter Deathly Harris Part 2. My name is Zeppelin G993, and in this part, yeah. Ron Hermione just completely abandoned Hermione. Useless, you two. You're just completely useless. Yeah, I'll guess you'll catch up. Seriously, the whole school is falling to pieces, and their their sort of their plan is, oh yeah, she'll catch up. She's strong, Hermione. She'll she'll she'll, she'll keep us, you know, in check. No, guys, that's not how we do things around here. So in this part, we've got to make our way down to the boat. This is the final part of the whole extravaganza that is blooming level. <laughs> we'll make our way down to the boathouse, get past these death eaters, then we get a massive huge story. Everything is revealed, the whole truth, you know. All the stuff that Harry Rouge had been told many years ago. Which for some reason, Dumbledore thought, you know, I'm just going to let him find out when he's about to die. Because that will really, that won't annoy him in the slightest. Down we go. <laughs> Give me strength in this game, seriously. You fit all the more would be like, what on earth is that commotion up there? Or, 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 or he'd feel it. He, he would sense Potter's presence, but he doesn't for some reason, and that just annoys. That's what we know most about the whole about our section. You'd think, with their connection being so strong, you know, they'd realise that it was Potter. Voldemort and Snape, one of, one of the two would realise it was him and be like, you know what, we've got to sort this out. We've got to take care of it. But no. It's just the way it happens. There you go now anyway, thank God for that. Just run for that bit there, ignore the other guys around you because, really, You've had enough by that point, you've been fighting all your way through Blimmin Castle to get down to here. And this is where it all really matters. I swear the boathouse is now bigger than it used to be, but meh, I'm not complaining. It's only a boathouse. You have performed extraordinary magic with the Elder Wand, my lord. Tonight, when the boy comes, it will not fail you. He's behind you, Snape. To you. The Elder Wand belongs to the wizard. Who killed its last owner, Severus? Surely they'd realise that. Surely he would know. Dumbledore. While you live, the Elder Wand cannot truly be mine. Oh Lord. shit! Kill! <laughs> Kill! God, Voldemort. No mercy for your faithful companion. Oh, good God. Take them. Take my memory. You have your mother's eyes. Oh, it rents at your heart, doesn't it? Dear, oh dear, oh dear. And now, rather than getting the full story, just a little glimpse. Because it's a game, you know. The sun lives. If you truly love Lily Potter, then you will protect her. Summarise the whole chapter, basically, <laughs> in one a couple of sentences. It is not expected that the Malfoy boy will succeed in your murder. Should he fail, the Dark Lord will turn to you. You know this curse will take my life, but you must be the one to kill me. Only then will Voldemort trust you completely. It's like being made a best man, isn't it? You must kill me. Oh, thank you, man. I really, really appreciate that, man. I love you for that. Voldemort is at his most vulnerable. When Lily Potter cast herself in front of Harry, the killing curse rebounded. <gasps> Part of Voldemort's soul latched itself onto the only living thing it could find. Harry. No! So comes, the boy must die. Yes. And Voldemort himself must do it. That's just out of line. Never saw that coming. Even Sherlock Holmes is sitting there going, What the bloody hell? They. They killed Lupin. And Fred. And Colin Creevy. And Hedwig. Harry Potter. And those are statues as well, giants. Join me in the Forbidden Forest and confront your fate. Dress smart, Join casual. No Bring your own beer. <laughs> I'm going there. Now. <gasps> no! It's meant to be. <laughs> Dying. Yeah, you know, it's meant to be. Then it will be over. 
<sighs> Here we go then. How he finally gives himself in. That's the thing though. He says death is meant to be. That's a good honest observation. Death, he can't stop it. As much as he might try to run away from it. So at least he's facing the truth. Being pragmatic about this sort of thing. But imagine having done all of that. Having fought all year. At the age of 17. Just to have to be like, well. Actually no. I've got to die anyway. God, that was so morbid when you think about it. It's proper depressing, this game, really. It really is. It's over. There's only one thing left to do. And all these students here. I won't escape. I won't try to outrun him. Mind them think. What does how you're doing? Why is he not wearing his uniform when it was in like dashing jacket? Who said that? Who said that? They're just chilling out, they are. Oh, good lord. What on earth is. Oh, okay. Dear, oh dear. What a morbid scene. And now we have to bring in, take Pretty care of more blooming Death Eaters. What if they knew? So this is like, this is a weird, weird level. It's very short. There's no um, collectibles. It's just called Surrender. And basically, you just have to fight your way for all these Death Eaters. You get a couple of slow moments like that when you kill a few. You're just like, wow, Harry. To sort of show that you've really sort of mastered your skill and how sad it is that you've, you're giving it all up to keep yourself in for Death Eaters, I and mean, it is, you know, oh, it's absolutely horrible. Yes, wow, oh, in slow motion. Well, what would be even cooler if the mask just flew off the face? That would be pretty cool. And of course, you can operate as well if you want to. Now that is it. Off he goes to the side. Shoo. Over the side, but he operates away from it, so, you know, forget it. Yeah. Almost forgot about Super Fire, you know? It's like, oh yeah, that, that really basic spell. The sort of pistol. I forgot about that, that bad boy. Oh, straight on the noggin. He's just sort of like, my heart! My heart! Such magic and talent for a 17 year old. All downhill from there, obviously. I mean, of course, you have that one Death Eater who's like, Voldemort, I'm, I, I, I'm totally with you, man, on this. I'm, I think Harry Potter's a bugger, he should be destroyed and all that. But black's just not my colour, really. Can I just go for maybe something, you know, a bit more like, I don't know. How about brown or terracotta? Ooh, this fabric would look lovely to fit. Imagine me wearing this as I attack Hogwarts. Voldemort's like, for the last time, Gwen, I tolerate you long enough. <laughs> nah. Stupefy. I think they'll all get a bit bored as well black all the time. When this happens. So now, if I haven't actually attack you, we just sort of stop. So you can hit them, and then they'll all vanish one by one. They won't hurt you anymore. It's like there's a they they sort of almost feel sorry for you, really. Like, oh my god, he's actually doing it. What on earth's his game? So you run through here and avoid these guys all. Just I just for the sake for sheer hell of it, just get rid of them because I'm worried that if I get too close, they will actually attack me, and it will all go a bit tits up. But uh, apart from that, just run run through the grounds and go. On, imagine you know the first time we're into the grounds back in the day, we were getting fire seeds for Hagrid from a plant. Just beyond the Gargoyle Gate. How times have changed, you know. Like, in 11 years old, we would, you know, chase pus gains, fly, you know, jump over pits of lava to get fire seeds, you know. Those were carefree days, man. Not anymore. Now we're running into the forest to give ourselves up. I'm a Dark Lord. Get down to here. Head down to that, that spot there. And we venture deeper and deeper into the woods we have to go. Maybe all in vain, I know. Use the environment to divide, divide, divide. We're not blooming tree gods. We're not crazy elf, elken people, whatever it is. I don't know. So he gets here, and then the snitch. He realizes it all makes sense. Once, twice, twice. Now he's really a man. 
And for some reason we have to walk as slow as humanly possible. This part is, I know it's trying to be all deep and meaningful, but it's just a bit frustrating they have to go so blimmin' slowly. Ugh. Give me strength. Harry's mum's there, just like, hello, son, you're right. How's it going? Good time. to see you here. Why are you here? All of you. We never left, dear. Well, that's creepy. I'm just gonna stand here now. Bye bye. Off you go. Leave me alone. <laughs> we never left. That sounds a bit like, you know, some sort of spirit from the exorcist, not your dearly departed mum. I think it's as well, when you're a spirit like that. Do you, when you die, does your ghost appear and it's your last form? Because, well, I don't know. As, if I die like, in, my, in my 80s, I, I wouldn't want does to, like, hurt? my spirit to be me die. in my 80s. I'd sort of want it to be in, in the peak like of my life. Honest. I'm not saying 80s isn't and the peak of your life, that. but, you know, you want to no. be young, don't you? We're part of you now. Oh, As dear. You are part of us. Well, that so sounds very incestuous, but okay. <laughs> That's so much I want to say. I'll say it now. Vagina, boob, nipple. <laughs> I don't know. What would he say? And I'm sorry. Lupin said looks horrible. I didn't want any of you to die for. Her. And Reeves, your son. Others will tell Teddy what his mother and father died for. Oh, they'll know the truth. You will understand. But Sirius so says nothing. Tonks, Fred, Snape. Remember Snape. them as they were. Yeah, Snape, a cruel, heartless bastard. <laughs> I would never be like that. Their memories remain. I will oh, it's so forget. sad. We know. Oh, it tugs there, at your heartstrings. Leave me there, son. Keep so going. Proud of you. I always feel like it's quite a bit of a shocker in the film when you think of, when you hear about we we miss a son because it's not really ever made that clear in Death Hours Part One. It's sort of alluded towards, but you never really get the full sense of it as you do in the book, obviously. And it's it's a bit of a shame, isn't it, really? But there you go. So I know this is all deep and meaningful, and they're all sort of hovering You'll along. Stay with me. Until the end. Always. They love you, you know, Harry. They love you! And off we go. Stay you said you'd stay with me to the blooming end. Where are you going? Oh. Blooming parents always let you down, don't they? Sorry, we're gonna go off to the uh, the magical one there to have a drink and some sherry. <sighs> so here we are, surrender, the bitter end. Harry Potter, the boy who lived, come to die. Don't sleep yet, Harry. He's going to kill you! Oh my good lord. Harry, you brave, brave man. Let us walk. Heaven's a train station? Sir, forgive me, but you are dead, aren't you? Oh, heaven's oh, yes. a half pipe. Then I'm dead too. On the whole, I think not. Been mysterious, Dumbledore. Even in death, he's been mysterious. That will, I think, have made all the difference. A bit of him lives in me, doesn't it? Did. It was destroyed only moments ago by Voldemort himself. You were the seventh Horcrux, Harry. The Horcrux he never meant to make. Sir, what about the Hallows? You, Harry, are their worthy possessor. For you do not seek personal gain. You accepted death knowing that there are far worse things in the living world. I've got to go back, haven't I? That is up to you. Remember, help will always be given at Hogwarts to those who ask for it. 